my hope is that when anybody, any math instructor opens up this book to any page, they'll immediately see that this is a different book. It's a different book in a lot of ways, but first, before you even start reading the words on the page, hopefully that visually this is a very inviting, very appealing book. If you turn to a page with a figure on it, you should immediately see that these figures are different than the figures you see in the books that are already out there. These figures are alive. They interact very well with the narrative. They're very colorful. They're kind of, I think they're almost sort of playful in a way. So I think immediately I'd like instructors to say, hey, the artwork in this book is something that we haven't seen yet. Ultimately, I write for the students. I mean, I try to think about the students in my classes, think about how they learn, how they would like to see ideas expressed. So I, I write for the students, and I guess I'm hoping that there are sympathetic instructors out there who realize that this isn't the book for them, they're not learning calculus for the first time, and that they're choosing a book that will benefit their students. One reviewer told us we were overly obsessive with the organization of the exercises, which I took as a compliment. The exercises start out with basic skills exercises that are tied very closely to the examples in the narrative. We move on then to more advanced problems, slightly more difficult, slightly further afield than the basic skills exercises, but they're related to the material in the book. A third block of exercises are the applications. The book is heavy on applications. That's my interest as a mathematician, is the applications of calculus. And the exercises reflect applications from all disciplines that uh, use calculus. Then there's a final block of exercises that are devoted to more difficult exercises, theory exercises. So the exercises reflect a complete spectrum of difficulty and uh, breadth and application as well. The last feature of the book I'd like to talk about is something that has all of us very excited. This is a fully electronic version of the book. Now, this is much more than static PDF files on a website or on a CD. For the first time, we've taken a mathematics book and truly brought it to life. The figures in the book have been animated so that they provide active demonstrations for instructors in class, and they provide a wonderful laboratory for students who can experiment with the figures, and again, the learning experience is greatly enhanced by the electronic version of the book. I know I'm a teacher, and to me, writing and teaching go hand in hand. Uh, when I teach, I write lecture notes, I write very detailed lecture notes, I hand them out to students, and so part of teaching is expressing ideas, and once you start expressing ideas, you're really writing pieces of a book. So I'm not sure that I ever had this objective of actually writing the book as an end in itself, but it was just all part of the teaching experience for me.